Father, we come to you tonight. We thank you for the blessings that we have received. Thank you for the beautiful weather that we've had the last few days. We just thank you for uh, being able to be outdoors and doing the things that we've been wanting to do. We thank you for this community, Father. We thank you for the town that we have and the blessing that it is to be in this community. We thank you for this uh, city council, and we thank you for their efforts and their energy and their work that they do to make this a great place. And I just ask that you be with them tonight as they make decisions. Grant them wisdom that only comes from above. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. This Guthrie Public Works Authority meeting is in order. Uh, community announcements and public recognition. Anything out there? <coughs> okay. On the consent agenda, item A, I recommend we approve it. I need a motion and a second, please. So move. Second. Council, cast your vote. Chairman, all the votes are in. Show us the votes, please. The motion passes unanimously for who's here. Public Works Authority meeting is adjourned. The regular city council meeting is called to order. On the consent agenda, items A through K. Recommend approval. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Council, cast your votes, please. Show us the votes, please. It is unanimous. All right, item number three. Um, we need an, uh, an alternate representative for the ACOG board. John Woods goes there, and every once in a while he can't make it for whatever reason. Uh, do I have a volunteer that would like to do that? I'd volunteer. All right, council, I make a motion that Jeff Taylor be appointed as the uh, alternate for the ACOG board. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. I second that. Council, cast your votes, please. Mayor, all the votes are in. Show us the votes, please. Unanimous. Jeff Taylor, thank you, sir, for volunteering. I appreciate that. Uh, item number four. Discussion and possible action. I'll authorize the disbursement of $10,000 from the Rural Business Enterprise Grant to Linda Harris with Willoughby Feed and Outfitters at a rate of 4.5% for a term of 10 years to be used to provide improvements to the building facade at 221 East Harrison Avenue in the commercial district of downtown Guthrie, uh, which is managed by the Logan County Economic Development Council. We've received an application, I say we, LCEDC does uh, carry out this process for us and we're thankful <coughs> for that. Um, there, are, there are other monies available within the community, about $50,000. This one is for 10,000 uh, for some, uh, Facade improvements. Staff recommends to approve the authorization of the $10,000 disbursement. Council, I need a motion and a second for approval. So moved. Second. Uh, Council, catch your votes, please. Mayor, all the votes are in. Show us the votes. It is unanimous for item number four. Item five, city manager's report. Y'all ready? No. Okay. I want to first thank Kristen Peck with uh, Cox. Uh, Kristen is uh, who we enter negotiations with for the uh, the Cox franchise. Um, she's been absolutely wonderful. Cox is a, a pretty remarkable company, and it has uh, launched us into an opportunity to, to look at grant opportunities and to take a look at Wi-Fi in our community, et cetera. So I'm thankful that Kristen's here. Um, unfortunately, the Citizens Academy, we are asking to postpone that until the fall. Uh, we received... Um, three applicants, one of the mayor and one of them one of my staff. And so for the sake of um, best use of our, our time and resources. Um, three of us coming. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> sorry. the other three council members I'm not counting. Um, no, but if y'all don't mind, I believe that the summer months was um, a, a valiant effort by the city, but I, I do believe we'll have a better turnout come fall. What we're looking at is the 1st of October ending around Thanksgiving to avoid the Thanksgiving to Christmas time. So if y'all don't mind, um, we'll move that. Yeah, so heard? Like okay, yeah. thank you. Um, an interesting happening uh, this weekend, uh, Prairie Gothic, one of our new businesses in town, threw a block party. Uh, we believe there were about 700 people there. It's a kid-friendly event, and we look forward to other retailers doing the same thing. It was pretty pretty remarkable. Uh, some new faces uh, in the crowd, um, from what I hear, and what a great event for our downtown. Uh, the chamber is facilitating a gentleman of the road, otherwise known as Mumford and Sons Public Forum, to be held here in the council chambers Monday, uh, July 8th at 6 p.m. 
uh, you're welcome to come. We sent out a frequently asked questions in the water bill about the Mumford and Sons, but there's a whole lot more of those frequently asked questions. If you or any of your constituents have any questions they'd like to ask, send them to us. We can add it to the FAQ. Every time we hear a question, we're adding it. We'll keep that on the, um, the official website. Uh, the chamber is hosting an official website for all that information. And I wish I knew it off the top of my head, but you can check out uh, the chamber's website and get to it. But the public forum, 6, 6 p.m., uh, July 18th, um, July 8th, excuse me. That's all I have. Really? Thank you. All right, number six, request or comments from City Council. Cheryl, do you have anything for us, please? Oh, caught me off guard. <laughs> I do. I, I have some kudos for some people in Ward 3. I think that Guthrie Christian Church and the Neighborhood Solutions, uh, the uh, North Cottonwood group got together, had a great Sunday in the park, loved it. Thank you. And also to Prairie Gothic and the people that took all the time and effort to put together the Guthrie Block Party. I was there. It was great. I'm impressed. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Cool. Right. Mr. Taylor. I'm going to have anything to say. <laughs> oh, man. We're getting lucky. <laughs> Vice Mayor Wood. He's not nice. Um, I guess, you know, uh, ditto on the uh, block party. It was a lot of fun. We had some really good name brand bands, I guess you could say. They're, they're big bands. Um, uh, so that was good for Guthrie. Um, and really, it showcased uh, a lot of the businesses in the area. I mean, 89... The, 80, the vintage um, uh, got some uh, traffic. I know Bluebell got some traffic. Uh, of course, you know, uh, Prairie Gothic and the Hancock. You know, all those businesses got a, so much traffic. I mean, it was overfilling and, and whatnot. So, you know, I, I really could see that being a very successful model in the future uh, for, you know, bringing people into town and, and bringing traffic downtown. So I hope we do a lot more of those. Um, other than that, just have a safe July 4th. And and if you're going to do fireworks, please get a permit. So something to think about. You do need a permit, and they're for sale up here at City Hall. Also, on the block party thing, the kids out there in that water balloon fight, I hope you weren't close to them when they got the <laughs> water balloon because they had a good time. They really did. Uh, thanks to James Long for all the bouncy houses and everything out there and setting those up. Uh, Phil Nichols for taking care of some of the kids in the bouncy house. I think he was in there with them a lot of the time, and, and he enjoyed it more than they did. Uh, we appreciate your help on those things, so thanks very much. Uh, and that's all I've got. Last chance. Anybody else? City Council meeting is adjourned. <laughs>